watching today. Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday today. I'm having a slightly late start to the vlog today because I have not been feeling very well this morning. So I've just kind of taken the morning, I've been sitting out in the sun, just kind of drinking at some water with echinacea in it and just soaking up all the vitamin D. And then my new hair arrived and I couldn't wait to whack it in. So I've actually just clamped it. I, I call it clamping, <laughs> it's not a nice name. Basically it's like a crimping, uh, kind of like waving wand from Babyliss. I was actually flicking through Instagram and I saw from last summer when I'd had my hair dyed pink Peach, which I just loved. So I saw that picture and then I also at the same, like literally in the same day, saw my friend Amelia bought that same wand and did a tutorial on it on her IGTV and I was like, this is a sign. I need to crack the wand back out and I need to get some longer extensions because I have my normal extensions that are around here, but I cut them. It's a very botched cut. I'm making do with them for now, but I did want just like a really long set of extensions, especially now I'm trying to have my hair more natural. Obviously I've heat styled it today. When I wash my hair normally, my hair kind of does a weight that's a bit like this. And I was like, if I just have a set of extensions, which I literally use for like wavy hair, and then I can just like, bung my hair up in a ponytail and put the extensions in or like have my hair like this but have these extensions in and maybe I'll need to like do the front a little bit but if I can actually avoid heat styling my hair by having like pre-curled pre-waved extensions because these extensions are kind of how my hair naturally goes anyway if I brush it through my hair does a few different things when it's wet if I brush it it will go to a wave if I leave it it will like do that and just curl up so yeah I actually just think that these extensions will be really great for when I'm trying to not heat, heat style my my hair but they also work with the waving wand for heat styling i think i'm going to do an updated like makeup routine hair kind of routine so i will talk you through the process but it's super super easy literally like anyone can do it as long as you have the wand it's great so yeah i will do that for you if um anyone is already like i need a tutorial on that it's coming yeah so that's pretty much been my morning as you will have seen ryan made me a smoothie I'm trying to get the health thing because i'm just not feeling like 100 percent at the moment so yeah i was gonna go for a run this morning and start my updated like workout with me vlog but i will probably start that maybe tomorrow just because i've really learned my lesson with exercising of any kind <laughs> apart from like obviously a gentle walk when you're just not feeling 100 it just it really messes me up so yeah i'm just gonna eat really healthily today and i just hope this all goes away because I can't afford to be sick. I've been planning my garden revamp today, which I definitely had to hook my budget up for because garden stuff is expensive. Like, even if you do it like DIY, it's still way more expensive than you would ever have imagined if you hadn't like bought a house or done anything garden related before. It's more expensive than the inside of the bloody house. I actually have, let me show you i've got some porcelain slab samples which i am i am aware before anyone tells me i am aware that this is the reason that this is very very expensive because you have different types of slabs and porcelain is like spenny but they do the nicest finishes and better colors and i just kind of got to the point where i was like I'm not gonna half-ass this. Like that's not been my way so far and I'm not gonna start doing this now. I don't wanna have a half done garden that I don't like. So I'm just gonna take it on the chin just in case we end up in lockdown again and I end up having a lockdown birthday. I need a nice garden right now. It's <laughs> it's not a place I really wanna host in. So yeah, I have some slabs. This is the one that I've gone for. Let me show you. So my friend Mike, who I've already kind of talked about in the vlogs, he does flooring and he also does landscaping. So he's gonna be doing my garden for me. And these are two samples that he cut off for me. And I really love this one. I'm sure no one's surprised. I prefer the white over the gray. I do like kind of the black limestone and the black porcelain. I think it's really, really nice. But I think for what I want, this will be perfect so yeah those are my two options that i had i could have gone for some different samples but based on the mood board i sent him this was kind of the obvious choice yeah my garden needs a little bit of a seeing to once again but this is how it's kind of looking at the moment sorry about the seats ryan always puts these on backwards i just you know when you're just like how did you think that that was the right way round i can't i just don't know i need to cut those labels off it would just make my life a whole lot easier yeah this is kind of the back end of my garden i'm just gonna leave the other end for now but this is like the end that you see and look out at and it's obviously just it's not cute so that's going and then there'll be grass here and i think up here as well and then we're going to add in patio along this back bit here because everything up here is just kind of dead but yeah patio here new fences new fencing down the side as well i'm just going to keep these as they are look at these roses they're so cute like, proper beauty and the beast style love it i gave these a little trim the other day and deadheaded them and that's as green fingered as i get to be honest that's gotta go this will then i think go back there and then i want to have a little veggie bit here and a compost bit 
back there and then i think here we're going to get rid of the prison break tombstone and then i think we're going to put a big succulent plant or something like that here so yeah that is my phase one plan for this eyesore it's not going to be perfect by any means but this is a big job it's not a little garden so unfortunately i think it's going to take me a while i also picked up these i've got two of these i got these from a garden center literally yesterday i need to repot them and get the right compost for them and stuff but i've got these cute little like neutral nude colored pots i just thought they were so cute I've got these lovely little white flowers on them and i love these ones because the stem actually curves and i just think it has a really lovely kind of rustic vibe to it i know you can get ones like these where the stem goes straight and they look lovely but i wanted to go for something that felt a little bit more natural if anyone has any tips on like growing plants please help me out because i don't know what i'm doing hi how are you i swear they hear me talking and they come to the garden so cute we still haven't got to the uh, touching point yet we just sit i i normally sit up here and this one normally comes and sits underneath the chair and we just chill together it's very cute so yeah those are my garden plans it's lovely because it is such a big garden and it's a really good sized garden and a really good shape for doing stuff to it like there's so much that i can do here there's so much more space like down this end as well but because of that it would cost me so much to do it all in one go so i already like get dms all the time being like you should do this to your house and you should do that to your house and i'm just like <laughs> yeah i mean it's all just really expensive. I think we're also, I forgot to say, we're gonna have like sleepers up the side of the flower beds as well, which would be great. Oh, and where I was talking about putting the succulent in the in the little prison break uh, tombstone bit, I'm also gonna put like some really nice big white kind of like beachy pebbles. I've seen quite a few people have them in their gardens and lots of people go for very small ones like this big, but I've seen some of that are more like this size. And I think a mixture of the two would be like amazing, but like to have, the bigger ones on top i think would be so cool and it's like a nice nod so like the beach vibe because obviously it's super super close oh the cat's off again bye she later Is someone at the door for me yeah Woo! Good flowers, oh someone bought me flowers i know that is be right back i feel like my hair just got blown to bits i've been standing outside talking for ages but my cousin dropped me prosecco i've got cards and some flowers oh these are so cute yeah definitely need to eat some food it's like lunchtime now and i'm like uh, i've just been talking for, to the camera for ages and then talking for ages to another human and now i need i need the food and i also need to pick my porcelain slabs back up off the floor because they are still here so i hope you enjoyed garden chat i'm gonna go eat some lunch now what are we having chef ryan well, some sort of vegetables, some sort of couscous, some sort of hummus. Yep. Ooh. Out in the garden. Do we have hummus? No, but I'm going to go shopping. Ooh. Ryan's on like a health kick at the moment. So basically all we have in the fridge is rice, God, those seagulls are loud. Rice, couscous and vegetables. That's it. Yesterday I did a Mediterranean pasta salad and that was great. Okay, so Ryan has gone to get some food for lunch. The sun is shining. I really want to go outside and just soak up some more sunshine but what I thought I would do first is take you through some of my packages yeah even though I'm weird and I'm hungry I thought we can unpack some boxes together The living room which have arrived and we also have this really cute little vase i love this it's so sweet i thought it would work really nicely actually in my bedroom because it's very white and clean and modern and i just wanted to add something that looked a little bit old into the mix and i think that would work perfectly but yeah so these i think go this way up so they look like this on the bottom and i have these wall lights which are because this place is quite old i believe the previous old old owner of this place had ball lights up in here it's really hard to show you guys what this is going to look like but i've actually mocked up a mood board so i'm going to put it on screen but yeah that's kind of the vibe we're going to be going for instead of those and i just think it'll be a lot more discreet and a lot more minimal basically long story short i actually ordered some other lights which i don't think i will have shown you they were like a much darker they were kind of like a silvery 
pewtery color but they went basically the opposite way to the lights that are in there at the moment but when they arrived the kind of silvery metal tone was so much darker and they stuck out on the wall like sore thumbs so i left the original lights there those used to have lampshades on it but i actually just feel like they work really well just being as plain as possible at the moment which is what inspired me to get these because these are obviously super super plain and very very discreet and in that moment when i saw the wrong wall lights up on the wall that was when i knew that the wall lights needed to be discreet and it didn't i didn't need to make a feature out of them so they weren't the cheapest lights but they weren't super super expensive either and i just think for something that i'm almost not going to notice but that it's never going to bug me and they're going to be completely timeless it's so so worth having and then we need to put this little guy somewhere over here i need to actually tidy up this room i found my sunglasses the other day in a box marked makeup i know but yeah i think once I style this up, it would look really cute there with maybe a few other neutral bits, maybe that are a bit stony. Like I really like having my All Saints fragrances out and they work really nicely in here being out on display because they are like that glass bottle concrete top. So I'd love to get maybe like a bigger vase to go there that's maybe like a stony colour. I think that would look so cool. Whilst I'm doing home bits as well, I also need to make sure I get this baby ready because this is going to be going up in my bedroom, hopefully this weekend. things that we need here which is fab slightly concerned that they're gold though is that gonna work on a black light don't know couldn't see that in the picture but we'll see i have all of the little crystals so that is all ready to go up on a saturday it's all ready for me to individually hang each one of these 96 crystals onto the chandelier it's gonna make me want to cry but i'm looking forward to it because hopefully i'll only have to do it the once and i'll keep it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever flowers they're literally the perfect color to go in this room and ryan has nearly finished cooking it's a bit of a mess it looks so good yeah you always make a mess when you're <clears throat> cooking though that's true that's the sign of a good chef i think yeah yeah we'll go with that so i'm gonna have some lunch now hope you enjoyed seeing my new deliveries um i'll pop links to everything in the info box in case any of you want it but all the lights and the vase were from wayfair basically i just where else do you get home stuff from i don't know doesn't that just look delicious he is a good egg he's in there i don't know if you can see him let's zoom him there he is photographing his food and now we're just really awkwardly zoomed in <laughs> About five o'clock we have been sitting in the garden having lemon drizzle cakes we're about to go for a walk before we start making dinner i'm still so full from our salad that we had for lunch it was essentially a salad or that's what we call things that don't have like carbs but yeah that is what we're up to walk dinner life in lockdown is just thrilling isn't it food walk food sit. walk sit bed <laughs> food, walk, sit, get up food, walk, sit, bed. do some work eat some food honestly if i didn't have this house i honestly think that i would have gone mad already i hope all of you guys are doing okay and you are also not going mad i actually think lockdown might send me crazy at some point soon also you know what might send me crazy my cracked phone screen it's making me really sad every time i look at it i feel like i'm going a bit nuts today i feel so sad like just really, really, really sad and a bit run down and a bit anxious all at the same time. I've got a lot of feelings going on, so I'm not sure I might take tomorrow as like a, a day because even on the weekends, I'm not really like unwinding. Like normally a weekend like does it for me and I come back in the week and I'm ready for Mondays and I like Mondays. I don't hate them. I don't love them. <laughs> 
I don't hate them. I do like them, but at the moment I'm just feeling really sluggish and not myself. I've really struggled today, even just like picking up the camera. I feel like I have nothing to say because I literally feel like I'm in Groundhog Day more than ever. I think when I moved, it kind of got me going and now it's just the same i keep hitting my head on this door frame but now it's just like feels like it's gone back to being groundhog day again but yeah that is where i'm at at the moment so if i've not been like myself in this vlog that is why because i'm not myself i am in some weird funk and i'm really just like trying and doing the most so bear with me i have a really exciting package from new in i posted about them on my instagram but they're a new brand which is like sustainable and i think in here i have two packages coming but in here is what should be active wear and i think that active wear is really really strong but i'm excited to once everything kind of arrives over the next few days i'm excited to show you guys everything because i know a lot of you are really interested in sustainable fashion and i really love this brand so i feel like it's a good fit and i'm really really excited to show you what i've got but i'm just going to throw something on now for my walk and kind of like give it a road test yeah i'll show you everything i've picked up over the next few days so i've literally just thrown this little set on for my walk literally just wanted to try it on does anyone else do that with new clothes where you just actually can't wait to try things on i really like the set the bottoms are surprisingly non-see-through i was like there's no way even with my nude thong that that's not going to show and it doesn't very happy about that and this sports kind of crop top is so lovely fits really really nicely i think i got a small in everything i will correct myself if i'm wrong in the info box everything fits perfectly i'm really really happy with it so i've got a few other bits i've got some bits in black and some bits in beige and then i've got some more everyday wear coming as well which i'm really excited about i also really like the fact that their bags are biodegradable how great is that that's amazing why does everything not come packaged in this i need to know very very happy with that so far so i'll probably do a try on tomorrow if i'm feeling a little bit more myself basically i just want to be able to talk to a camera without feeling like i'm just umming and erring constantly like i feel really bad for lauren and that makes it kind of worse because i'm like overthinking as i'm talking because i know it's just going to be so much harder for her when she comes to edit it because i'm just like and um <laughs> that is my life and then i'll touch my hair and then in the back of my mind i'm thinking you're touching your hair someone's gonna have a go at you for that. so i need to just like have a few days switch off and just like come back to you with like fresh Susiness. yeah you know I slept last night for I think 12 hours <laughs> there's a lot of sleeping I'm not feeling particularly good today to be honest I think it's anxiety and I know I said I wasn't feeling well yesterday I actually have got to the stage today where I'm like all of these things I'm feeling like my nausea my shakiness I feel like it's all actually anxiety and I'm just doing this to myself so what I'm gonna do today is I have made a list I'm gonna tackle a few like life admin bits that need doing and I'm just gonna get them off my list because I sometimes think like just taking little easy things off the list kind of lifts <laughs> lifts the anxiety slightly and then helps you think a bit clearer and I'm just gonna take today really slow and not rush around like a headless chicken trying to like do everything in my life and shoot all the things and do all the content because it actually i think sometimes having too much on my plate overwhelms me and i don't feel like i'm creating the best content for you guys at the moment because i'm almost being a bit too reactive and obviously off the back of the past few weeks which have been really important in the world but also very heavy and i'm trying to like catch back up on content because i'm not so pre-filmed as i have been in the past at the moment and i feel like in trying to kind of rush content and keep videos coming out for you i'm not creating the best for you so today is like a just sort your life out off camera kind of day and hope that what i'm feeling and like the not well feelings that i'm experiencing kind of like ease up a little bit i don't even really know if this is making any sense i tend to not make a lot of sense when i'm feeling anxious and on camera i just feel like it comes out as like 
Nah. So yeah, this vlog was a little bit boring. I'm so sorry, um, but I'm gonna sit down and kind of work on some videos that I want to do coming up. A lot of you have requested like general kind of like fitness, general home stuff, which I really am struggling with home stuff because it's all obviously very slow. And I feel like in comparison to a lot of other like YouTube channels that do home content, which I love, but I am not able to just like go at it as hard financially, which I think is such like a normal, thing but i just don't think it makes for like the most interesting home content and obviously i'm not buying a ton apart from like lighting i'm not really buying much like in the way of homeware because i'm just trying to get like the bare bones of the house done which is one very expensive and two a slow process so i feel like i'm not doing as much home stuff at the moment so sorry if that's kind of like what you're wanting right now but i think it'll be like another week or so until i have anything to like update you on home wise but yeah i'm gonna sit down and sort out some content for you like some nice fresh content for hopefully next week and yeah that's gonna be it just gonna take it back to like the basic necessities and i think whatever your job is sometimes it's good to just like take your daily routine back to like the basics of like exercising eating good food and then kind of like slotting everything in on top of that it always makes me feel so much better when i'm doing that basic self-care but to a really good standard and it's such a difficult thing to do when you have lots of people needing things from you in your daily life and obviously everyone has this on different levels i think it's a very difficult time in the world at the moment we've all got so much on our minds and so much that we're all processing so yeah that's what's going on in my brain at the moment and it's just like annoying because i like to be able to chat to you guys and at the moment i feel like everything is so heavy and my mind is in such a different place to where it normally is because there are obviously so many more important things going on but even with people i know it's the conversations are different which is so great and so important but i think like you do have to kind of just take a moment sometimes and like relax your brain slightly because otherwise you're just going to burn out so yeah that's where i'm at i think my brain is just kind of burning out and I just need to take a moment but yeah that is going to be my day and I've just waffled on for six minutes so <laughs> I'm gonna love you and leave you and hopefully be back with you in a couple of days feeling so so much better fingers crossed so yeah I will talk you through some of the new bits that I got that I was talking about last night from new in I think in my next video I'll do like a proper try on so yeah keep an eye out for that that I need to disclose as part of a paid campaign that I'm doing so yeah that is all gifted for anyone that is like your spending is getting out of hand how do you have any money that is what that is but I thought some of you would be really really interested in it because I know lots of you have been asking for kind of heads up on more sustainable brands so that is definitely one of them and I'll talk to you about that in the next vlog but right now me and my anxious are gonna just sort my life out and uh reason but yeah i hope you're having a good day i love you all lots and i'll see you guys again soon bye